Hey guys, welcome to this Cobb house. I'm Alex, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the differences between thermal mass and insulation and earth walls versus fiber walls. So, for example, we have two main types of, types of materials. We have an earthen material, such as cob, and we have a fiber material, such as straw. So, the earth wall materials have what's called thermal mass. And basically, a thermal mass wall has a very low insulation value, but a high thermal mass. And that thermal mass acts a lot like a temperature battery. So a thermal mass wall can absorb heat, re-release heat to the inside of the building. And it's all dependent on outdoor temperatures versus indoor temperatures. And there's some science behind it, but that's the basic gist of it. Whereas a fiber-based wall, such as a straw bale wall or a straw clay wall, these are high insulation, low thermal mass and so um, they have a high insulation value meaning they're basically going to trap whatever temperature you inject into the building and it's going to keep that temperature held inside a lot better um, than if you had a low insulation and no thermal mass so that's the main difference between earthen walls and fiber or straw based walls so they work differently. Now with earth walls we have things such as cob, like this small example here. We have adobe blocks, which is basically the same material, um, just built into brick form. And then we have rammed earth. Rammed earth has the same thermal mass type properties as cob. Um, then there's other offshoots such as earth bag. Basically any wall material that's composed of soil is going to have that high thermal mass. And then straw, we have a couple different fiber examples or um, options. So this is your typical kind of a wheat straw. The wheat straw is good. It uh, has a high tensile strength. It's widely available widely available throughout most of the US. Uh, it's pretty cheap overall in comparison. And then if you want to look for some more high-end fiber materials, um, one thing that works really well is the hemp shiv. The hemp shiv is ground up um, I believe it's like the stalks of the hemp plants and these make for really good um, insulation. So you can mix that hemp shiv with either a mud slip or a lime binder and you're basically going to create um, the material necessary for a, a fiber insulated wall such as hempcrete or um, something very similar to straw clay. So the hemp shiv is a little hard to source. It's definitely more expensive than your wheat straw, uh, but it works extremely well. I'm, I'm going to be working with the hemp shiv a lot going forward with a couple hemp create experiments and then with the cob dual wall system. The exterior layer for the dual wall will be made of hemp shiv and a mud binder. And then we have um, other fibers. This is a hemp fiber. Uh, this is more the long strand version. And this stuff is really stringy, which is interesting. It's a lot more stringy than uh, your wheat straw would be. It's a lot more uh, fine as well. But this I haven't used this yet for anything, but I think it would work well for cob um, or anything that really needs that fibrous material. So 
those are just some of the basic differences. That's one of the topics we cover at our workshops is just knowing the main differences between thermal mass and um, insulation. So depending on what kind of building, uh, what kind of situation you're in, you might lean to one side or the other. Some situations need more thermal mass, some situations need more insulation. Um, like for example, this building here, this is a straw clay building. This is just your uh, regular wheat straw mixed with a mud slip and then compacted into the, the wall forms. So for this building, I chose high insulation over cob in this case. Um, for one thing, time. Building with uh, fiber insulation typically is a lot faster. And so in this case, I needed to get a building up as fast as I could, so I chose a straw clay. Um, that was one of the main reasons. So it all kind of depends on your situation. There's a lot of variables that can go into that decision. But um, knowing the difference between the insulation and the thermal mass is important um, as a first step, I think. So I just wanted to kind of clarify that a little bit in this video and show you a couple of the uh, fiber examples that you can choose from. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comment section and I'll get back to those. And thanks for watching. So again, just to get a close up and to reiterate, here we have a regular wheat straw. Here's your cob. Um, this is the hemp shiv. This stuff is really interesting to me. We're doing some experiments with that soon. Um, this is the hemp long strand fiber. You can see the difference between that and your wheat straw. Like this piece of cob has wheat straw strands, but I think this stuff would actually work pretty well in there. The only concern maybe is that it wouldn't, uh, it might bulk up a lot into big balls of fiber. That might be an issue. I have to experiment with that. Um, just for reference for you guys, if you need to get hemp shiv or any kind of hemp fiber, you can go to Midwest Hemp Technology. That's where I got all of these samples. Uh, they're very helpful. You can go on their website and email them and uh, they'll get you hooked up.